Hi, this is Benjamin, founder of Farmagain. Farmagain is a company that is building exclusive technology for precision agriculture to improve productivity, to improve revenue and profitability. And most of what we build is also patented. And we were also recognized as one of the top 100 innovators of India. Today, we are going to talk about different types of drip irrigation and their applications. We all know commonly there are two broad categories of drip irrigation, inline laterals and online laterals. Inline is where the emitters are embedded into the laterals itself, while online, uh, you embed or you punch the emitters onto the laterals. And both of them come with three different uh, basic categories. Uh, one is called normal lateral, the second is called pressure compensator or commonly known as PC laterals. The third is called PCND or pressure compensated non drain. First of all, what we must recognize is that if there are three different types of drip irrigation technologies, there must be some difference, right? I'm going to talk about the differences in detail and where you can use what kind of drip irrigation. And at the end of this video, I hope you will be very clear about what drip irrigation you have to choose in what situation. Let us start with normal laterals. Normal laterals are the ones where, uh, let's say if it is rated for 2 LPH, you are not very sure that it is really going to emit only 2 LPH. There is no guarantee. Why there is no guarantee? Because the, the actual flow can vary with the pressure variation. Let's say your uh, pipeline pressure is about 1.5 bar. The discharge could be approximately 2, but if the pressure drops to let's say 0 0.5, the, the discharge will come down uh, proportionally and if for some reason the pressure goes up to let's say 3 then again your discharge could be as high as 3 to 4 LPH. You will have to also look at uh, one more aspect. Say you have a plot or a zone. The laterals that are very closer to the valve will obviously have higher pressure and the portion of the zone that is diagonally opposite to the valve is going to have lower pressure and the place that is nearer the valves will get more water with normal laterals and the ones that are diagonally opposite will get less water emitted. This will be a common scene you can see with normal laterals. Now also by the way, these are the laterals that are available through subsidy by the governments as well. Now let's talk about PC, pressure compensated laterals. These PC laterals come with a built-in diaphragm and what these diaphragms do is maintain uniform discharge within a certain pressure. Let's say between 0 0.5 and about 3.5 bar pressure, they can deliver the rated water. Say if it is rated for 2 LPH, between 0 0.5 and 3.5 bar pressure, it will actually discharge 2 LPH. But when you shut down the water supply to the pipe, the water that is trapped in the laterals will also get dispensed, meaning the laterals at the end of the irrigation will become empty. But as long as the irrigation is on, you can be guaranteed that the discharge is as rated by the company that manufactured it. Then comes the third type of uh, drip irrigation called PCND, pressure compensated non drain these laterals are very similar to pressure compensated laterals. That means between the rated pressure, you can expect absolutely the rated discharge from every emitter. That's, that's given. In addition to that, what it also has is the ability to shut off the emitters when the pressure drops below the rated pressure. If the lower spectrum of the pressure rating is 0 0.5 and the water pressure drops below 0 0.5 instantly, these emitters will shut themselves down so that the water does not discharge beyond that point. Why is it important? Well, the, the actual um, use of that is that when you start the next irrigation, the very same second irrigation will start. That means um, when you, if you want to do pulse irrigation, for example, uh, that means uh, you have uh, uh, polyhouse, you're growing capsicum, on, a, on cocoa peat and your agronomist has given you a schedule of 10 split fatigations a day and each split is only about one minute or two minutes. So in this case, if you use uh, PCND, every such pulse irrigation 
will actually give fertilizers and water to each emitter, to each plant. So, uh, I mean, unlike the normal laterals that we discussed earlier, uh, where the discharge will be higher at the at the valve side and and lower at the diagonally opposite side, or in the pressure compensated laterals where the water actually drains out of the laterals when you when you stop the pump. Here, water is completely trapped inside the pipe. So, the moment you start the pump the discharge is going to start immediately. That means um, any number of pulse irrigation you want to give, uh, the discharge will be absolutely uniform. Ideally speaking, one would always prefer PCND. That is going to be the real tool, drip irrigation tool for precision farming. But again, it comes with uh, trade-offs. Uh, if you have uh, polyhose with uh, cash crops, then it is important for you to actually invest in PCND. I've seen a lot of farmers investing uh, you know, into five, six polyhouses, spending crores of money, but uh, not giving importance to laterals like uh, PCND. Uh, unless you have this, you will not be able to realize the returns of the crores of investments that you've made. And uh, coming to PC, for people who are on hilly terrains uh, and even for farms that are on plains but want to focus uh, completely on precision farming, Pressure compensated laterals are absolutely essential and if your budget is very low or if you want to go with uh, um, you know government subsidies then you can go with normal drip irrigation but that is really not going to help you with uh, precision farming.